Hi everyone, welcome to Lee and Toon's channel. It's been a while since I've done a video, so we thought we'd pop down to the farm today and uh, give you a bit of a catch up. I've only been back in Thailand about 24 hours. Uh, we, we came down late afternoon yesterday just for a quick 20 minutes just to uh, pray to our angel house and see Toon's dad's resting place and then we shot back. We didn't time it well, as always our timing sucks, we got absolutely drenched. I hadn't been on a motorbike for quite a while, I fancied getting out on that and uh, uh, Toon did warn me that it was going to rain but I didn't listen and we got drenched. But anyway, we've come down to uh, today and it's, uh, it's just stopped raining about five minutes ago. No squirrel, Bambi? <laughs> squirrel, but no. <laughs> so while I've been away working in the UK for three weeks, we've had all the concrete in done. So we've had the house uh, and two of the outbuildings. So we've got the garage and the storerooms over there. I'll walk around there in a, a little bit later. And then behind two and over there, we've got the bar and the restaurant. Still two areas that haven't been concreted yet. And that's the toilet and shower block over there. And then just behind me here, yeah, this is going to be the bathroom. So I've insisted that we bury all the pipes this time, not like the other house. Learning from our mistakes to some degree. And uh, so that's going to be finished off by hand later on. Concrete's up to about three inches in depth with the reinforcing metal. Just along here, this is uh, just a bit of extra foundation for when we build the internal walls. We've got so much sand, we've got over a metre depth of sand here, so it doesn't matter how much you compact it, you've got to, you've got to put it on a really solid base. So this will be done later, if the builder turns it. Okay, we've got some standing water. It was only because yesterday there was really strong wind and rain at the same time, so it looks like it's forced it underneath the uh, the roof of the building. Here, well, it's not great. You can see that there wasn't enough concrete. Toon told me that uh, it was going to be another trip that was required to cover this little bit of area here, so it just wasn't worth it. So although it's not great, um, they'll just have to make a bit with, uh, with cement when they fit the tiles later on. Yeah, if you order one more queue, that means 1550 plus 500 baht for the picture. So two made the decision, save a bit of money and we'll sort it out later on. No problem. So Bambi's happy because she can get up and down now. The sand everywhere. And then over to the uh, first of the outbuildings. So this first section here is going to be our battery store and yeah, it's quite sizeable so there'll be other bits and bobs put in there as well but probably machinery and then the second will be tools and supplies, fish food, dog food, animal food, it's going to be like a, it's going to be like a zoo here and then at the far end I think we're going to go down the lines of a carport rather than a full garage. Now, Toon did tell everyone, that, or the main builder, that we weren't going to tile this area. Um, so I don't think it's been finished off as well as it might have been if we said we were going to tile it. So, I haven't got a spirit level, but I'm pretty sure that's not bang on. And that's one of my pet hates. Oh, I can't chill about that. So we'll have to sort that out ourselves. All the way along, saw's just falling away. So me and Tuna are going to do the brickwork for this. And uh, we'll also be balancing it. We're just going to put a layer of screed over, where, over everywhere. And all the way along the front here, we're just going to put a sloping access. 
They did offer to do that for us, but I'm glad. Glad to knock them back. We're going to do it ourselves. Normally the standard's really, really good, so we're surprised and disappointed with this. It's almost like their heart wasn't in it. If I was here at the time, there's no way it would have been finished off like this. But never mind, these things are sent to try us. We will succeed. And then over to the party place. So this is going to be the bar and restaurant area. Toon did tell them that we weren't tiling it. Um, but she accepted full responsibility for the way it had been finished off. Because uh, she didn't let them know. And uh, all I wanted to do was have it smoothed off. Just like a smooth concrete. I, don't want, I didn't really want tiles putting all the way over here because it's, it's a fair old size area. So if you smooth the concrete out, and you can make it shiny as well. It's easy to clean. It doesn't cost anything. And we are working to a fairly strict budget, so every part we can save here and there, where we can, it's going to make a big difference overall because to us it's a huge project. This corner bit here is going to be the outside kitchen. So we're going to have a dwarf wall all the way around and then like a security mesh on top of that with an access door in there. So no cooking inside the house, which I am ecstatic about. So is Toon. And we're also going to put like a, a chimney vent up there with a fan underneath it to, to draw it out. All good there, and then plenty of seating, tables and chairs. We'd love a pool table, we've got to be careful because, as I'm sure most people are aware, gambling's illegal in Thailand. But if you go and stick a pool table in there, all the local lads are going to want to get on there, and then they'll get beard up, and then they'll be gambling. And someone will be like me, a terrible loser. Someone will say the wrong thing, and then it'll kick off. Or the police could turn up, and then we're in big, big trouble. So maybe just a dartboard. Oh, that dog is never full. Oh, not you sticky right. Unbelievable. Oh yeah, she has. I think it is a bit sticky for her. Huh? <laughs> and the karaoke, don't forget the karaoke. Oh, yeah. so people thought that we were come here for a quiet day's fishing. If I get on the microphone, that will not be happening. Ace of Spades by Motorhead. Right then, let's go and show you the last bit. So, toilet and shower block. Men's and ladies shower and toilets because we may or may not be putting bungalows up later on so uh, but there definitely will be camping uh, and then people while they're fishing here all day they obviously Boom. need to toilet and shower block as well Boom. so that'll be done by hand a lie sure yeah big kid my sure and then over here we got what you call a, a JD, which is Toon's dad's final resting place. So we arranged a, a builder to come and build the base. Me and Toon are going to tile that later. We want to do something with our, with our own hands rather than just pay people to do it. And then we got this 
JD, I suppose it's a, a shrine. And then we had his photo and details printed onto a onto a slab and then Toon and our youngest brother Notley came and uh, put that into place. And there was so much hard work involved and uh, organising to do and I wasn't here to help. I've just gone back to the UK to do a bit of work and then inside there that's where you put the ashes. So we haven't sealed that up yet but I think it's it's lovely my opinion. I know not everyone might agree but that gets my vote over a, a headstone and it was always his wish to be buried or his ashes rather to be scattered on the farm because he lived here a few years ago but he was at his happiest grafting away on the farm and then they moved a little bit closer to the village nearer to the friends electric and running water which they didn't have here so it's the same problems that me and Tuna are facing we'll have to get round but my dad and her mum survived all right here so I can't see any problem us doing the same but he never ever seemed as happy as when he was here he loved it and our final build which is the one we elected to do right from the start uh, is the angel house so this angel house is for uh, an angel called uh, John Tong and he's been on this land for many many years remember in Thailand folks nearly everyone believes in angels and spirit and uh, I'd always like to think I've had an open mind over the years, but it's definitely a little bit different over here. There's a lot of stuff that goes bump in the night. I'm not easily scared with the uh, ghostiest type of stories, but uh, yeah, there's definitely something going on. Maybe we're having a few beers one night, me and Toon will tell you a few of them. But it's lovely. It gives you that real feel-good factor and uh, it's nice to know that someone's looking out for you as well. Still got to paint that, that's still on our to-do list. Bad manly. Alright, that's the first bit of the walk round done, showing you the buildings. We've got a couple of other bits and bobs I'll show you before we shoot off today. And, uh, picnic time and as usual I'm late and the black rockets got there before me so we'll see what's left Ginelai sticky rice and Isan sausage yeah on him hello my Bambi No wonder she's fat as a pig, eating all my sausages when I'm not here. Okay, another bite to eat and then we'll show you the rest. Nice day. So, picnic's over. We've had to put the food up high because uh, Alabama doesn't normally steal the food, but uh, we don't want to tempt her. Uh, this is for good luck, so when you put your first post up in Thailand for your house you're supposed to put one of these up and put some money inside it or some gold or something just the day where the first post goes up um, and it's supposed to give you a good look and um, calls money so we could do with a bit of that so hopefully it works anyway we've had a bite to eat oh. and uh, because the rains are finally here now it was it's given us a chance to get on with a few jobs that we haven't been able to do during the dry season. Mainly replace the, uh, the dead fruit trees, the ones that got cooked. Uh, I managed to blame for one of them. Uh, I think I forgot to water one. 
on my line. We always have our own lines to water and um, I forgot the last one. So we've just been putting some more lemon trees in. Some fruit all year. Uh, so the meat's really good there. Uh, and then we've got some absolute massive ones. So about the size of an orange. And then what are these two? Naina. 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 Whatever. Fruit. Yeah. Thai fruit, I think. Tasty anyway. So, going quite well. We just heard the uh, clap of thunder a few times, so. Yeah, we uh, need to go. It's quite dangerous on the farm when the thunderstorms come, yeah, if you've not got any shelter. Well. Yes, dear? Yeah, good for the thunder. Oh, we got a hole that we didn't need. Where? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, that's ready for next time. So what else have we got apart from lemons? We've got, uh, there's a lot of mangoes, pomelos, which are one of our favourites, my mum's favourite as well. Uh, well, when we say lemons, they're actually limes. Uh, we've got lime leaves, mangosteen, oranges. What else we got to? And they're all, all the other stuff's Thai, isn't it? I don't know the... Yeah, most people know Tulian. That's it. Unfortunately, my limited tide doesn't allow me to uh, translate that for you. But they're all tasty. We're not growing anything we don't like, are we? I don't know any in there. <laughs> I just know, like, oh, the, the spiky one, the fluffy yeah, one, you, the brown one, the red one. You do grow one thing, I heard it, Tullian. Tullian, yeah. That's uh, the stinky fruit one. Not everyone's favourite, but. Uh, you can certainly get a good price for it anyway. So we'll go into more detail soon. Um, the whole concept of what we're trying to achieve on this land and, and live here. But basically what we're trying to do is um, what, what, what we call the father taught, who, who's, the, who's the, uh, the king of Thailand who passed away uh, last year. And it was his philosophy to not live beyond your means, which is pretty simplistic I suppose, but uh, but to try and be self-sufficient. Don't put all your eggs in one basket and uh, try and grow a little bit of everything and when you have a surplus then you can look to sell stuff. So don't rely on one crop and selling that. I think we need to do a bit of weeding. So we really didn't want to spray this area because this is going to be the chicken coop here. And during the day, once we've fenced it all around here, the chickens are going to keep everything clear for us. So, I don't know, maybe up to about 50 chickens and a few duck. But uh, it's getting a little bit long now, the rains have come. And it's going to be a few more months before we move here. So, I think we're going to have to spray it, unfortunately. But at least it'll have a few months without, without chemicals on it. But it's starting to take shape. Nearly 60 fruit trees and we've got room for about another 20. Just need to go and buy them and then put them in. But at least it's easier to, to dig the soil now. You need to put more phalang in. More phalang? Like a pear. Sweet one though. Yeah. I don't like those well, other ones. 50 /50. Yeah, we've got a hard crispy one. It doesn't taste of anything. That's obviously not my favourite. And then we've got a sweet, juicy one, which is very tasty. That is that, it's not terrible. It's terrible. We all know it's tasty. Oh, oh, and there's one thing I need to show you. We've got some strange eggs have appeared on the water tank. So we just popped down here today for one of the jobs was to fill up the water tank for when they're going to uh, start doing the block work and uh, Toon spotted a scary egg sack on the inside of the tank so I'll have a wander over there now and show you and then see if anyone that watches this knows what the heck it is here we go 
I've just been called back as an emergency. There's a caterpillar or a pupa, and uh, my missus isn't scared of my. What? What? It's got all juicy. Oh, that's minging. What is that? That is the egg. Yeah, they brought it in there. It's not now, is it? Yeah. Just, just kill them, please. Just, just kill that poisonous thing that's on the thing. Not, not today. I don't want to be the one when kill them all. That's... Okay, okay. I've just got to go and do the eggs. Chill, chill. Minute. No, those eggs in the water tank. Is it? Let's have a look then. It's definitely egg day today. Dan is um, one of the Thai wasps out here, and these things chase you. So. Um, yeah, but only one. You need to be. Is it? Where is it? Yeah. Oh yeah. I haven't got a good track record with these. You want though. me to kick them out for you? No, 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 no. Where's it go? Here, this way. Oh, he's after me ah. now! No, no, no! <laughs> Every single time. Get them. No, uh, I got it on the video. <laughs> yeah, I might have a bit of a phobia with those. I didn't scream, did I? <laughs> Not scared of that little wasp. Is it? Oh yeah, forgot olives, didn't we? Take the flower out. So, sand and the blocks ready for the guys to do the block work. My wife's yak yakking me to go because of the thunder. It's alright for her, she can come to the farm every day. I haven't been here for three weeks, so. Anyway, I'll show you these alien eggs. So, we just come to top this up to give the guys the water to uh, mix their cement. And then, um, Toon found. This dodgy looking thing and it's like foam but we can't see anything in it but it's buoyant I thought it was like a poison toad or something but uh, Toon says all the toads just lay spawn like the frogs do so I don't know let's have a look at the top and someone with a better knowledge of this sort of thing could possibly let us know what it is but it's quite a size it's about the size of a lemon yeah, I'm not touching that. Right then. You ready, Bambi? Bless her. Hey? Looking good. Bambi's enjoyed herself for an hour or so. Like me, she doesn't get down here very much when uh, when I'm back in the UK. Sometimes she follows on the motorbike but since her last bad road accident where the truck ran over her midriff she's not as fast as she used to be bless her so um, she follows Toon on the motorbike all the other village dogs on the road chase her and um, although she's quite clever and outwits them most of the time oh I just stood on the spike um, sometimes it takes her about five or six hours to get over a darkness so, oh, my video's got a bit wonky because I've got a big spike in my foot. I think I need some new Crocs. Rightio, I've got to take that thorn out. See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching again. Ta-da. Just got back to the house. Toon's busy cooking. And what I'm going to do is just try to give someone a shout-out at the end of each video that we upload to YouTube. It's just that, although we've only been doing this a month, we've, we've had some really nice people give us lots of tips and advice, and some people have been very, very kind, and they've given us some shout outs away, and these are quite established people with, with quite popular accounts, so it's just really returned the favor. We certainly don't take it for granted. So, uh, for this video, I'd like to give a shout out to a guy called Brad, Australian guy, living in Thailand. 
uh, I think it's been out here since 2015 and his channel is Our Life Thai. Okay. He's still quite new to YouTube, same as we are. I think he started um, this year in January. But he's got a, a good amount of videos uploaded. So uh, check him out. Very, very informative uploads as well. And his editing's far more, <laughs> far better than I am. Uh, that's it. So, if uh, if anyone's viewing this and they've got a YouTube channel and you fancy um, me doing the same sort of thing for you, not a problem at all. Just let me know. I'll check out your channel. And uh, if it's not too seedy, I'll give you a shout out. Okay. Right, I've got to go and feed Klopp. He's looking a bit, a bit hungry. Cheers, guys.